Hey everyone, so I wanted to go over poor man meals. And I say poor man meals because I've done my research reading video, watching videos, you know, and research into the Great Depression and things that, you know, they ate or didn't eat. <laughs> and so I've customized it to how I want to do it for my family just to make everything stretch and everything go and just it makes it more simple, simple. So for breakfast, at least for my family, I've come to the conclusion that we'll do a rotating pretty much of the same foods. So flour and sugar, you know, like homemade pancakes or homemade waffles, whatever you want to call it, or however I want to use it, you know, uh, maybe make some homemade fritters one day, if, you know, apple slices, work with it, right? Also, um, eggs when I do get eggs and be able to use that for, you know, some scrambled eggs or use it somehow. Um, malto meal. We, I do love malto meal or oatmeal. So like kind of those rotating, you know, maybe make shift them into other things sometimes, but basically those four main things kind of like on rotation pretty much. Um, I'm not sure on lunch yet, I guess just, either leftovers or just a mixture of whatever because one of my children has a gluten allergy the other one is lactose so it kind of makes like sandwiches difficult and gluten-free bread is expensive so you know anyway dinner it will just generally be like a crock pot meal so whether it's in the morning or afternoon, depending on what it is, you can do like cornbread with dinner and beans. You know, again, you can either add in meat or choose not to, up to you. Uh, throw in whatever you have, basically. So sometimes I've seen like cabbage, carrots and potatoes with broth or like can't some two, three cans of uh, some kind of vegetables or the mixed vegetables even. Um with a meat and a broth and you know just however you want to do it just whatever you have basically throw it in there usually i see people do some kind of like tomato base as well um now i do have like a stock up of like noodles and stuff so i might switch that up on some nights and do some kind of like you know noodle dish um i will definitely do rice so if i cook things and then at the end of the evening like i don't know like 30 minutes before supper and throw in a cup of rice or two and help you know bulk that up and i figure anyway i figure that that is the cheapest way to eat it's the cheapest way to live you spend less money now i do like fruit so of course like i'll get frozen fruits or fresh fruits you know every few days or so or like once a week and eat on that for the week as well it's like in between snacks and eating on throughout the day between meals is kind of how we do it here do i necessarily have to eat like this i guess i don't really have to all the time anyway if i didn't want to but for me it's about making everything stretch and making it work just because you can sometimes not have to live poorly i guess occasionally or not have to eat poor man's food as i've heard it called that doesn't mean it's not wise that's the way i believe people should eat i don't condemn anyone who eats differently because i've ate differently a lot before too but i believe it is the smartest way to go it allows me to stock up on what i already have it allows me to make everything stretch and it gives me the security I need to know that we always have something. You know, there's always going to be food. Versus if I was to continue to buy and eat the way that I was before, there could be times in the future or soon or, um, or whatever that, you know, we have a hard time eating or don't have a whole lot. And things get, like, scarce because of eating however we wanted to before and not making wise choices and I don't want to do that so 
I'm going to do another video for how I plan to do like my stock up of food storage, especially considering, you know, like I don't have a deep freeze right now and I can't can at the moment and everything. So, um, I'm thinking of doing like the buckets, like five gallon buckets, um, or finding tubs even, but I'd rather have like the food grade buckets. So it has the really good seal on it of, um, and just stick, like have a bucket full of like bags of rice, have another, another bucket full of different bags of beans, have, um, another bag or another bucket full of different bags of like split peas or lentils or, um, quinoa or, you know, like different things so that I know that like I can get out, open up the bucket and grab out a bag out of each and use those until it's gone before I get more. You know what I mean? Um, cornmeal, flour, sugar, just basics and make things meals. Cause when you have basics, even like powdered milk, which I can't use, but <laughs> I have to get like the shelf stable containers of like oat milk, which is pretty cheap or, you know, I can make my own if I really wanted to, if I had the supplies for that. When you just have the basics, like canned vegetables, even if you don't have any meat, if you just have canned vegetables, um, sometimes some like canned meats, um, what else? Flour, sugar, uh, broth or like bouillon cubes even, you know, like, um, I don't, you get the idea. If you just have even basics, you can make a variety of different things and make it work. So, 